Hello and welcome to Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking what big event or events is happening for you um, within the rest of 2024. So by the end of 2024, what big event or events are going to occur? Now we have three piles to choose from. But I'd also like to share with you the bottom of the deck energy from um, choosing these cards was the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Pentacles is blissful, happy, abundant living. So abundance is on the horizon. And would you believe it, the Ace of Coins was underneath that. So we've got lots of pentacles here, lots of coins and the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, for many of you, I would say there is a lump sum of money coming in. This could be to do with some kind of inheritance, to do with the family tree of the Ten of Coins. Perhaps this is um, not an inheritance, but, but a gift, a lump sum of money or, you know, a generous loan from a family member. But uh, money is coming in, <laughs> so prepare now um, because clearly... Um, financial gain, a financial windfall, abundance, like physical abundance of some kind is incoming into your purse uh, by the end of 2024. So wonderful. Now we have three piles and I will introduce the piles and then you head down to the description box once you've chosen your pile um, and you choose from there through the timestamps. So pile number one, the Wheel of Fortune with Cherry. Pile number two is the Two of Coins And that is with Moon Moth. And pile number three is the Six of Coins. And that is with Human Heart. So take as much time as you need to, to choose your pile or your piles. And then you head down to the description box where you'll find timestamps and chapters that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Welcome, pile number one, to your uh, rest of 2024 reading. We're asking what big event or events are going to occur by the end of 2024. I mean, these fires are burning. I'm even noticing like the fiery sacral chakra, passionate, powerful creator energy here. Now, B spirit almost came through as your symbol, but we went with the cherry. And as I was coming into, tuning into your reading, I just got pretty, pretty pleased with a cherry on top. There's something that you have been working towards, like um, full steam ahead. Oh, can we do that? <laughs> okay, that looks really nice there. It's like everything in position, everything's perfect. It's like thinking of that cake or that ice cream sundae that you have that cherry on top, you know, and it's this perfect... It's the final card. It's the final countdown for you, pile number one. This is exciting. This is something you've clearly been working on with our B spirit, but also with these sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, willpower, energetic like colors here. You've been putting a lot of energy, a lot of love, dedication, and care into something. And look at that, how it's like, I didn't even notice that. It's like this is the direction you've been aiming for something. And that's why we get that pretty, pretty please uh, with a cherry on top 
energy uh, because you have um, been working towards a goal. Now this could 100% be some sort of financial or business or career goal. This is to do with your um, work, your home, your family. So this could be, you know, directing all your energy towards um, getting that home loan for your first home, for you and your family. It's like you get the gold. You get the gold, <laughs> like you get the golden ticket. Um, and I'm just seeing like underneath these two cards was also, wow, was the King of Cups in the Sun. I mean, and they were like, this King of Cups was like, I'm over here, I'm over here, I want to be part of the reading too. I mean, sunshine, golden liqueur, like, like liquid honey is on its way to you. And this is from something for you particularly, something that you've been, I feel like this has gotten mixed up. That is so interesting. All of these were around the different way. Oh, this one really wants to come out and it's sunstone. I mean, even after turning them up the right way, there it was again. Sunstone, the sun. The King of Cups is super happy, super pleased with what they've achieved. Like the sun is coming. The sun is rising on something. Something's coming like, oh, and that one too, into perfect alignment. This is the energy here. It was just perfect. And the way the cherry just sat perfectly. And then we noticed this um, intention that you have set and that you've stayed true to. I feel like this could have been all year with all of the seasons depicted. It's like the sun is shining on this goal um, for many of you to do with your income, to do with your work, or to do and or, you know, to do with your family, to do with where you live. Um, but this has been a heartfelt wish, and that's why we got that, um, you know, pretty, pretty pleased with the cherry on top energy. Sunstone, I'm only going to go, ooh, growth alignment. Alignment is right here. And for it to have ended up as your central pillar, everything is aligning in your favor. I mean, to get the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune is... You know, fortune favors the brave, but it's the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor when it's upright, when it's clear as day like this. Everything is aligning, all the work. And I'm getting even like, for some of you, decades, but for many of you, it's been this cycle of one year of consistent, considered, dedicated effort. It's like the ships are coming in now. You're aligning with this windfall or with this um, loan or, or whatever it is it's something it's all it's all coming into alignment now what you've wished for is is coming in and you're just going to be so pleased <laughs> the sun is the happiest card in the deck do we want that like yes we'll have him like that you will be so pleased. And the sunstone now coming under the sun. Leadership, confidence, freedom. <clears throat> this is the thing. This big event, this big turn of events that you have been wishing for and working towards with dedication, and I'm even getting with charm. <laughs> Interesting. It's like you, you've put... I'm kind of getting all your eggs in this basket. <clears throat> You've been just dedicated to this one wish dream, this one cup. You've put in all this effort, all this time and effort. It's almost like the bee crown, the golden crown for all of your past efforts, because we also get the clock here. This is all coming into alignment now. Many of you have been, have set a particular goal to do with home, finances, family, particularly finances or particularly, you know, success on the physical realm. And you've been, you've been uh, clocking in every day, working diligently 
you know, day after day after day on this goal. And it's all about to um, come through for you. Like it's all, it's all about to happen. <clears throat> it's all coming into alignment now. The ripe cherry, you know, this is, the cherry takes a whole year long process to grow and to ripen. And then, you know, to be fertilized by the bees, pollinated, you know, and to the point where it's able to be plucked from the tree. And you're at that point now. By the end of 2024, you will be plucking this <laughs> goal from the tree of life. And this is going to bring you the confidence to go after more of your dreams and more of your goals. This is really beautiful. Oh, King of Cups again? Hold on. Like, hold up. King of Cups, King of Cups, such an intuitive, dreamy, emotionally stable, emotionally available, you know, a uh, person or like archetype. But there's this freedom here. It's like once you achieve this goal, you then feel free to set more, even grander, even bigger goals because you're getting like the fruit of your labor. You're getting what you deserve. Like you've set your sights on a dream here. You've set your sights on a goal that is close to your heart with the King of Cups. Like this was a dream. You know, this is something very important to you personally. And it's about, to, it's about to come in. Like, look at it, leaping for joy. But it gives you the, a sense of confidence and freedom, achieving this goal. Just very, very positive. Four of Swords, you've been waiting <laughs> and waiting <laughs> with these cobwebs here and waiting for this ship to come in, for this cherry to ripen. For this, you know, visa to be um, approved or, you know, it's something on the physical, but something dear to your heart. It's, be, it's taken a long time, a long time, and that has given rise to this devil energy here of that doubt and worry, you know, like, oh, should I, should I do something else? But you've remained true. You've remained true to this goal. You have avoided um, being swayed or being, you know, just um, tempted by other lesser offers here. You know, like this devil energy is like, you know, that is not working for you. <laughs> like, babe, that's clearly not working. So what if you uh, go do this instead? What if you um, move away from this heart-centered goal <clears throat> and you just go for the money? You know, something like this. Or, or look, what about this get-rich-quick scheme over here? You know, it's this kind of energy that you have um, had to handle during this time of waiting. <clears throat> Justice will be done. Ah... Interesting that that comes up under the devil here, because this devil could represent, you know, other other people, other influences being like, I mean, for that word to come out as well, influences, maybe you've been seeing, you know, the get rich quick influences <clears throat> on Instagram, on YouTube. Maybe there's been, yeah, this influence from either someone or some people in your circle or you know through you know the algorithm through what's coming through your feed that has sort of um, tempted you away from this particular dream this particular goal but you have clearly mastered that energy and you've, for King of Cups to come up twice, you've remained true to your vision of your freedom. This is about the sense of freedom, the sun coming out, going on vacation, sailing the seven seas, you know. This is about um, something very important to you. It's to do with your freedom. 
your freedom to be yourself, your freedom to live in the country or community that you'd like to live in, the freedom to, you know, run your own business with the Ten of Pentacles here, something, it's to do with freedom, it's your heart's true goal, and you've avoided these pitfalls in this time of hella patience and waiting and working and waiting and working and waiting and working and hoping, you've managed to avoid these pitfalls here that have sprung up behind you. You've managed to master your own emotions. This Justice card has a lot of um, chariot energy here because the chariot has to master the disparate forces around them and stay true to their vision and keep moving forwards despite what the black and white sphinx or the black and white cats are trying to you know pull them towards it's this too here the what about this what about this what about this um and then this maybe indecision or you know fear of something not working out but this you having stayed true to your vision, to your hope and your dream. This is what's bringing in this, um, oh, hello, karmic justice. Oh, the otter is so sweet. And the deer, such sweet animal energies here. Very kind, very loving, very dear, literally. Yeah, you've stayed true to you. You, you have stayed true to you. Beautiful. Okay, so big event or events. You've stayed true to you. You've managed to master these temptations, you know, the energy of giving up, the energy of tempting you into kind of um, betraying your true vision in a way, like, you know, with that whole, if you have a particular goal, you know, for um, earning an income in a particular way, and then there's, what if you just <clears throat> get this job that you don't love, that you don't enjoy, but it does pay well, you know, it's that sort of, you've had to, oh, interesting, you've had to harness this energy, you have stayed true to yourself, and this ship is coming in, like this wish, this goal. This is your big event. Fear of failure. The forgotten missed opportunities. I mean, it has been hard going. It's interesting, this message has come through in varying ways lately. That it sort of felt like something wasn't ever going to happen. Something dear to your heart. But clearly, <laughs> clearly, uh, it is. The muse. Ooh, celebration, three of cups. Ooh, and the vengeance, overcoming slights, a choice. This is this, this is all kind of, it's interesting how um, your cards are kind of bookending, bookending all of this good fortune. Um, we're sticking with this one big event, because this is huge. This is something you've been working on for ages, ages. You know, we've got all the seasons, we've got the whole year, we've got the clock, we've got, you know, cobwebs have grown while you're waiting um, for this alignment, for this um, twist of fate even, or this movement from feeling like you're losing and that it's not working to, you know, all your ships coming in, <clears throat> this uh, vision coming good kind of thing. Uh, something you've invested heavily in, a lot of work, a lot of hope. And because it is aligned with your heart, that's why we get this devil energy, this um, vengeance, the forgotten kind of energy, um, because you felt left out in the cold, like, you haven't seen the fruition of this dream, uh, but it is coming. This is like a rest assured pile number one. This vision, this dream, this goal that you've been working towards is like 100% coming in. 
And this is where you get this confidence because then moving forward, you'll know that in those spaces in between, in between the intention setting, the goal setting, the working towards and the receiving, that being in that space in between is okay, that it's safe for you to be in that space in between, that it doesn't mean that your wish will not come true. It's simply, you know, timing, it's alignment, it's the web of life having to move, um, you know, so many disparate parts and people and experiences in order for this to come to fruition. But even if it takes a year, it's worth it because you get that ripe cherry, you get what you wanted. There's celebration here. And this is the thing, overcoming slights, a choice. You've had to make a choice. You know, do I give up on my dream? The slights, that whole, like it's not working. I'm working, but you know, the dream isn't coming into fruition. And you've had to drop anchor all of this like oceanic energy, you've had to drop anchor into the goal, into the dream and just dedicate yourself to this work that you love, this thing that you truly desire, that your heart desires. And this has been the choice that you've had to make. In the face of sort of nothing happening, like it not happening. But wow, generosity here with the muse, naivety. But this is Three of Cups energy, which is celebrating, celebration, a reason to celebrate. You know, people coming together to celebrate um, the successful ripening of this dream, this goal that you've been working towards for a very long time. This is... <laughs> like giving you a round of applause. <laughs> this is your your big event. This is big. This is your big event that will occur by the end of 2024. And I'm very happy for you. And well done. Well done for staying true to you and staying true to your goal, your dream. Very pleased for you. If this reading has vibed with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Welcome pile number two to your reading where we're asking, oh, I really felt that one and there was another one, that one. What big event or events is occurring in your life by the end of 2024? Now, with our transformative moon moths, so moth is like the butterfly, symbolizes transformation. And our two of coins here, she's spinning plates. I feel like many of you are getting like, I'm not quite sure what I'm getting from there, but I guess that's, that's the phone. Like many of you maybe have had more than one job, more than one income stream, uh, certainly more than one responsibility and you've felt um, up against it in a way, like it's just been a lot, like having to, um, yeah, just maybe all the bills coming in and you've had to take on an extra job or you're, you're trying to do many things at once. You know, she's spinning two plates and, and walking the lovely dog and it looks like there's some sort of alert beeping or an alarm beeping on her phone here. And yes, she is growing like she's growing good money, but it's a lot, like it's a lot to handle. It's sort of the dog just needs to see a cat and race after it, and then she's sort of fallen down. That's the energy of, of the two of pentacles. But it looks like this is changing. And even when I said it looks like, I saw like those two eyes there on the wings as confirmation that this is transforming. This juggling money, juggling jobs, juggling responsibilities. This is transforming for the better, clearly, because these are our two key cards for everyone. Uh, this is changing for the better. Now let's get some runes on the 12 houses to see what big event or events. Oh, something coming together there. 
it's like the <laughs> the roans do not want to be on the 12 houses anymore i like using this chart um but lately nothing <laughs> nothing is landing on it so maybe it's time for me to put that away <laughs> and to just um oh unless it's coming close by because we have this lagoos flow fate dreams coming along with this eighth house which is transformation some sort of fat wow some sort of fated transformation i have my own notes on the houses so it doesn't say transformation here but it does on my notes wow i mean some sort of fated transformation is at play and here we have gebo which is a gift Ooh, which aligns with this ace of coins here like this gift is given to you mm, okay let's find out more let's find out what this one is it was magic rebirth spiritual awakening i'm really seeing this one too i think that's perthro oh wow that's another rune of fate 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 i mean this is big this is a gift this could be a gift of money i mean we've also got inheritance here interesting because that word came through in pile number one as well but the inheritance i mean you know partners money this could be a family member's money maybe a family member offers to pay your debts or give you like a low interest loan or you know something but this is this is transformative and it is fated in some way so there's some sort of fated inheritance and a gift like I would say this is money because you know we've got money signified here we clearly have money signified in all three of these uh, core cards and this gift and then this money coming in with the ace of coins some fated deposit of money could be something that you're owed with the eighth house the eighth house is is the dark it is the mystery and also we have this debts and loans like you know perhaps you loaned someone money i mean we're not getting you know justice here or karma it's some sort of fated thing but it could be something to do with maybe you helped someone out you know ages ago maybe you helped them out financially helped them get their dream job you know whatever and things have come good for them and they they want to repay that debt you know i'm not saying that we owe people that that help us not at all but it's almost like this person if this is vibing with you <clears throat> it's like they were it was fated that they would repay you in kind you know it's this kind of energy is here for some of you <clears throat> for some of you this could be like just some sort of <clears throat> fated inheritance or fated windfall you know this could be like a huge raise or a huge promotion it feels like a gift it's coming through as a gift tears of joy and sadness yeah it's been hard going fire magic this is interesting yeah i'm getting this one over here this has been the or well, some of you i mean for some of you this is a literal inheritance and in that there has been a loss so yeah that's a hard one especially with the family tree energy here of this ten of coins so you know it's that it's that you know it's the two it's sort of look at this it's like oh this is wonderful <clears throat> to receive this money or this property or this business but it's also really sad now i'm in no way predicting 
the death of a loved one. Um, that's not what I do. Um, but there is an energy here of yeah of that for for some of you if if yeah if you have lost a loved one there may be um an inheritance uh coming in mm, but let's see what is this fire magic i'm gonna get the tarot we need the tarot here some sort of fated gift of money as as like what's coming through that transforms your life <laughs> that transforms your life. Maybe suddenly you're empowered here with this fire magic. You've been through the fire. You know, for some of you, you've been through the, through the fire, you know, through the really painful period of grief. But some of you, <clears throat> you've been through the fire of, you know, having multiple jobs, multiple responsibilities, Oh, wow. Reason to celebrate. This is beautiful energy. Three of Cups. The Salamander, I believe, is a lucky omen. I'm not 100% sure. I think the Salamander is on the King of Wands. So this is very passionate, obviously fiery. It's the fire element. But this is about, you know, taking charge, taking ownership, working with what you have. You know, she's gathered the stones. She's gathered the sticks. She started with just, you know, the candles. And now she's built this fire. And now she's working with the fire. There's, oh, and then for the King of Wands to come up. So very highly significant. This is taking charge of, of your life. This is this um, inheritance energy is only for a, a, a very few of you. So we're going to leave that as is. But there is a fated turn of events, a fated transformation, a fated transformative gift that once you have it in your hands, you can create your own joy joy for you and your loved ones there's been an energy of feeling trapped by circumstances up until now but it's all coming together with this three of pentacles three 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 of cups three of pentacles 33 is creation create love abundance and attraction the wands are highly charismatic very the king of wands is aligned with leo a very charismatic leader you know a charismatic creator there's creation there's manifestation here there's getting yourself out of the doldrums and into the light energy and it is this like it's been tough whether you've been juggling jobs juggling accounts juggling applications um, that you're sending out but there is definitely going to be reason to celebrate after this challenging time this is beautiful this is yeah some sort of fated gift and here we have um unity the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles is collaboration and the Three of Cups is celebration with others. So this could be you've been, um, you know, sending out multiple applications for jobs and then just the perfect like work family situation um, offers you this position and it could be a position of power with King of Wands coming through twice you know, and Leo energy, you could get that managerial position or, you know, something creative, definitely, but it's, it's just right for you. And maybe you've sent out, you know, multiple applications in this analogy and you felt shut out and you've had to keep applying, keep applying, keep, you know, sending out your applications your cv your cover letters and then boom this gift this fated gift of the perfect 
job, you know, the perfect work family, the perfect work culture, could even be in the perfect place where you find great friendship, wonderful creativity and collaboration and nourishment. It's interesting how this is a triangle around this Eight of Swords. It's like what you've felt locked out of, maybe financially, is, is suddenly um, coming good in your, in your favor. And that's the symbol of fire as well. So there's a lot of wands energy. Ooh, Knight of Cups, hello. A lot of wands energy and cups energy. Oh, and King of Pentacles under that. Yeah, you've, you've been doing it quite hard, I would say with the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior coming up with this tears of joy and sadness and the spinning plates. You, you've been doing it tough. For some of you, this is financially. For some of you, this is in your relationships with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups here. But it's like the, the fire is burning in your favor. There's this fated transformative gift but I feel like for many of you it is you you've harnessed something deep within you've decided to work with what you had you know the candles that you had the one cup that you had and you've sort of turned you've been transforming it through your charisma through your creativity through your charm, that's interesting, that came up in poll number one as well, through your commitment and through your confidence. There's reason to celebrate here by the end of 2024. And this situation of having too much on your plate, really being up against it, this it's going to transform by the end of 2024. And there's some kind of gift incoming oh look at the universe offering you something gorgeous i'm feeling these over here temperance working with the energy working with the energy that you had to work with so maybe you've been investing money and you sort of started with you know, one, and then you're moving it into the other, you're transforming, you're, you've been alchemizing. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> Holy smokes! Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, money is definitely coming in. So, And again, with this inheritance, this is something through your working with what you had at the time it's through that that you inherit this gift of money or something to do with your resources here leaving behind a situation and moving towards a dream goal or wish is the eight of cups here so this is potentially this energy here oh and that one in that one that yeah things your life wasn't what you wanted it to be this is the feeling trapped feeling stuck and so you've decided to be courageous and work with what you have and build a bigger and better dream this is the energy here and this is what is coming in Wow. Two of Cups. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. I mean, this is uni uniting. This is this fated energy. Ace of Cups. I mean, for some of you, you know, a big event could be this new, powerful, long lasting love after leaving a relationship where you were doing too much, you know, all the, all the plates, all the spinning plates were in your hands 
and and you had to you felt that you needed to depart because it, it just you felt trapped you felt overworked this could be also a job you felt overworked unappreciated that kind of energy work or relationship and you decided that you deserved your ten of pentacles which is your dream life <laughs> your dream abundant life and you've taken that chance and yeah it, it could well have been quite difficult to balance everything to keep the energy in harmony to keep yourself mentally healthy emotionally healthy taking good care of yourself as you you know grieve the loss of this job or relationship something so beautiful is coming in file number two this is like beautiful beautiful this is just right for you beautiful like you know this is your perfect partner your divine counterpart that you have wished for that you will have a family with here or your perfect, you know, creative collaborators, or business partner, or workplace. This is something that you didn't have before, and that you've had to you've had to leave in search of this. It is fated that you will receive <clears throat> exactly what you went searching for. Well, lots of cards here. Let's see what these are. Yeah, it's been painful. It was painful to walk away and even could have involved some financial loss. <clears throat> the walking away. But you held your hopes high. <laughs> like, so beautiful. You held your hopes high. You, you made that wish. You wished upon that star. And this is, look, this is what is coming in. This is what is pouring in, in the space of this loss. What you moved away from created the space for, for this dream to come true. Eight of Pentacles, you've been working towards it. And this is the spinning plates. It could be inner work could be external, you know, sending off those cover letters and CVs or upskilling. But this has been set at your work, what you've been doing this year, 2024, <clears throat> what you've been leaving behind and what you've been working on is leading you to this dream life of the Ten of Pentacles. It's leading you to your divine counterpart, it's leading you to your divine counterparts, I'm getting, with that soul family energy, the, the workplace that honors you and nourishes you. Yeah. Wow. I mean, what a transformation. Like, and we can still see our beautiful uh, moth of transformation, transformative energy. We have fate. We have a fated gift this new you have a new opportunity this is like the final big event death card and the ace like death to the ace this is a massive transformation some some offer or opportunity i would say opportunity is coming in and it's this fated gift energy this is this opportunity is this fated gift. You have Ace of Coins and Ace of Wands. It puts an end to this juggling. This having too many responsibilities, you know, sending out multiple cover letters, you know, <laughs> going through multiple potential um, partners of any kind, you know, looking for the one, looking for your 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 next like so solid and secure place in the world but there's this hugely transformative gift opportunity 
incoming by the end of 2024. Like, it's transformative. It's 100% transformative. Night and day kind of energy with our moth as well. From night to day, it's just powerful. It's powerful is what it is. It feels fated. It feels divine. It feels meant to be. This is what is coming in for you, this big event or events, because there's been multiple kind of strands with your reading, could be all of them, uh, for you, pile number two, by the end of 2024. Thank you for being here with me for this reading. If this reading has vibed with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Welcome, pile number three. Uh, what big event or events uh, will occur in your life uh, by the end of 2024? And uh, clearly you're receiving your heart's desire here. You've got six of coins, which is um, receiving a gift. We have your heart here. And obviously everyone got the Ace of Coins and the Ten of Coins. Remarkable, <laughs> wonderful cards to get for a, you know, big event by the end of 2024 reading. I mean, something, I mean, coins, coins, coins. You know, something wonderful is coming in. Um, something that fulfills a heart's desire, potentially. I also got with you something like Family Tree vibes. There's been an energy of inheritance in all the piles up until now. And I'm sort of seeing like this archway here. I mean, some of you, like that just occurred to me then. Some of you may receive a love offer for like a long-standing, stable relationship. This could be a marriage proposal. This could be a decision to adopt a child. This could be a decision to have a child. Um, six of cups is children. So we have that six energy. And you getting, you receiving your heart's desire here. Mm, some of you, it's a, a new home. Let's find out more. We're, we're bringing in the charms for you. Are we doing charms? We're doing runes. Okay. Oh, we want to know. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I mean, gift again? <laughs> Pile number two had the gift here. Can you see that one? LGs is power and protection. This is this energy of something very long standing. We have the tree, you know, very much family tree, very grounded. We're in the pentacles, so we're in the earth uh, symbology. Algaes is also um, courage and your higher self. Mm, mm, seeing on the flip side there, Jera, fruition, abundance, harmony. I mean, coming super in line with the Ten of Pentacles, which is an ab abundance on the physical. And then we have Burkana, birth. So something birthing into the new. And we have this gift of money, <laughs> like coming in. There's, there is a gift of money coming in. And for some reason, it fulfills a heart desire. But this is a gift on the physical. So in the realm of the physical, in the earth element. Do we want these? This one. Oh, these two. Okay. It's only a matter of time, divine timing. This is an interesting one because 
it reminds me of a staircase. Oh, and the key is here. Ooh, could be a key to a new home. You know, a key to your dream home, your dream living situation here. We have the star, you know, wish upon a star energy, success energy. All the um, tea leaves want to come in and a green one. Happiness. Ooh, <laughs> there was a song that came through there that is, you know, its main word is happiness. And this is like forever happiness with this infinity symbol I mean this is this is like a love you forever in a day kind of energy this is you know power and protection this is I will protect you I will love you I will provide for you very like akin to that having a child energy where that is how you feel <laughs> and it does feel forever even beyond this lifetime. Staircase working towards something super solid, super valuable, receiving this gift. You're definitely receiving a gift and it's your heart's desire here. I mean, for you to get this, you know, the star, this di literal diamond star, <laughs> like the key to your dreams is <laughs> at hand. I'm just quite excited for you. Oh my gosh, like, and talk about angelic, like, intervention. Here we've got the angel wing with the rose. We've got the red heart. We've got the rose. We have the happy family. We have birth, you know, this could be to do with, it, whatever it does, it, it sets you free to follow even more dreams. The time is right for this gift to be given to you. Well, good news. You heard it on the grapevine. <laughs> that, that doesn't, like, that song doesn't mean happy families. But, yeah, there's something, oh, I mean, come on. A sincere wish is granted, and we'll see what, ah, oh, hello. I mean, some of you, with the diamond, <laughs> the rings, I mean, some of you are being, uh, receiving a marriage proposal like yeah for real where are we going which tarot cards we'll, we'll just go with what we've got for a start it's a wish come true it's something that you have waited for or or worked for in terms of as a couple you know you've met you've dated You've got to know each other's families and each and you've sort of blended you know social circles then you've lived together it's sort of it's very stable energy and then there's this next step so it could be any one of those steps but it's all steps towards this lifelong commitment you know there's a gift coming in it could be a gift of a ring, you know, of a commitment, of a key to their house and a key to your house or a key to your um, joint home. There's definitely a key to a new home energy here as well. But it's like it gives you the freedom to move forward. There's something like great happiness. It's enlightening, enlivening. It feels really, really nice. Really, really nice. There could be communication in terms of this. So there's this offer. There's a gift coming in that births, you know, the new the new next level in your life. I don't know what um, tarot cards to choose. I'll go with my first choice. The modern witch tarot. You're going to hear about this good news, this... It's like an opening. It's something you've wished for and it opens up like the next steps, the next chapters of your life. Ooh. Yeah, this is beautiful. It births the new, but it's something very... Mm, are we getting all of those? Oof. No, too many, too many. 
Yeah, exciting. Exciting times. I mean, a sincere wish will be granted. The diamond star, something you've wished for, you are receiving. And it's the key to the next stage of your life. And it's all been about divine timing. The clock is also here to confirm that this will happen by the end of 2024. It's something beautiful. It's long-standing. It's close to your heart. It's something you will love. Ah, oh, opens up your world. Yeah, the gift to a new home, you know, the key to a new home, the key to a new car. You know, that suddenly you can travel, you can explore. 100% could be some sort of gift of money. Uh, could come from your family with all this family tree inheritance energy. Uh, maybe you receive a loan to start your dream business, you know, something like this. Or someone heard on the grapevine that you were looking for an investor and then and then it happens. <laughs> like Then that money comes in and suddenly you're able to move forwards. This is the energy here. It seals the deal, it signs on the dotted line, there's the commitment, and it sets you free. <clears throat> it sets you free. Look at you, Two of Wands. <laughs> the Two of Wands is looking out to sea, literally even looking out to sea, uh, broader, grander, brighter horizons, and you're moving towards them. And I think maybe in the Rider Waite, but Two of Wands is often depicted with the world in their hands. They've realized that, or they've received something that means that the world is in their hands, the world is their oyster, they can move forward now. This is incredible. Oh, okay, we'll save those. Strength, beautiful. I just get there's a lot of strength and honor in this gift. It's something to, it's trustworthy, it's believable, it's like your wish coming down from heaven, but it's so like honorable and so like if that makes sense. We've got infinity, infinity, this is meant to be, meant to be. It's racing on in very quickly actually with Knight of Wands, timing, timing. Something you've been hoping for but couldn't see. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficiency. And then we move from Nine of Pentacles to this gifting, this receiving, and this Ten of Pentacles energy. Where it's not just you working alone on your own anymore. Now you have a family, now you have a partner, now you have a business partner, now you have an investor. It's, you've been doing very well on your own, but there's this gift incoming. Wish come true opens up the rest of your life. Like, this is incredible. Coming in hot, <laughs> like, the universe like was like, no. No, she hasn't said it clear enough. This is coming in so soon. So soon. Like it just sets you on a whole new path. Like a whole new trajectory. This is beautiful. You don't see this coming at all. <laughs> like at all. Oh, two of pentacles. Interesting. This could be two dreams, two wishes. Seven of Wands, interesting. Let's see what these are. Feeling trapped in the Ace of Swords. Well, you've set yourself free from something. Something that was tying you down. Something that, you know, you had to juggle or that you felt juggled and unappreciated. You felt like you were up against it. You know, it wasn't enjoyable. You felt trapped in something and you've cut yourself free here. Or you're about to. Because you want to venture towards new horizons. This is a, it's sort of like, psh, with the crossed arms. Like no more of whatever this is that has you feeling this way. Here, 
up against it, juggling or being juggled, being unappreciated. Uh, you've had enough, <laughs> like with the Ace of Swords. And you, you want to choose a new path. You want to broaden your horizons. You want to venture forth on new adventures, new experiences. And you want something more stable, more solid, more be there's something about more believable, like true love, real love, dedicated love, honest love, you know, this kind of energy here. Tired of, you know, people saying things and then saying something different, or, you know, with the Knight of Swords can be quite uh, in and out like night and day kind of energy, night of wands can be the same, like less a dependable energy. But I do think that these two came in at the time of what I was saying, particularly for this one, about this clock, that this is coming soon. The angelic forces are on your side here with this infinity symbol, something you are being gifted, something that is a dream come true and it births a whole new reality, this step by step. It's not all at once. It's the opening of a new portal. It's the opening the door to a brand new staircase. It's setting flight. This is what this gift gives you. It gives you the chance to grow, to expand, to explore. And this is definitely something that you have wished for, with all your heart, with all your might, I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> like, you've been hoping for this and even planning for it with the Two of Wands here. You've been looking out. You're in a situation that is not pleasurable. You feel trapped, you feel up against it. It's like all the emails, all the jobs to do, all the responsibilities. You have felt on your own and even though you've been uh, killing it <laughs> on your own, you've been doing very well, you've managed all of these tasks, all of these responsibilities, etc. But you're out of there now. You have had enough. This is this energy here. You've drawn a line, you've created boundaries, and you're like, no, I want something different, I want something better. And you've started looking around. Yeah, look at you, all the birds looking in different directions. You've started looking around, because whatever this particular situation is, it's it's no longer enjoyable anymore. It's not giving you what you need. So yeah, you've opened yourself up and then in comes this wish being granted, this financial gift or this uh, gift of like information about, you know, a job that's opening up in your preferred you know, field, something like this. It's like on the wings of an angel, on the wings of a dove, like some you like happen upon some information, you know, like that opens up your world. Like, oh, I could go and do that. And then you set about doing your research. You're no longer content with this situation. You're cutting yourself free from it and you're moving into a like a whole new world this is the energy here um yeah they, these are big big events or a big event a wish come true event that opens up your life that broadens your horizons and is also something secure and stable and trustworthy it's very much love you for a lifetime you know energy or like a particular company that you sign the contract with to work for or to freelance for or to contract for it's like you'll be receiving really good money but there's some sort of like honest reciprocal intentions there like it's it's good 
it's good for you in the long run, in the long term here, like passion and protection. It's like you're protected. This new opportunity that's incoming like very quickly, it's coming in hot, it's coming in now. It's, you know, your heart's dream, your heart's desire coming true on the physical. Um, yeah, opens up this whole new staircase, this whole new chapter. It's very beautiful and it's very trustworthy. Like there's, it's interesting that that's the words, you know, wow, this is a dream come true <laughs> coming in for you by the end of 2024, pile number three. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading. And if this reading has vibed with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.